Is clip claps really a fast way to make money watching videos from your phone or is it a waste of time? My name is Michael and a few years ago I tested this app but a lot of people have asked me about an update about it and it is one of the most popular apps to earn by watching videos so I decided to give it a second chance and in this clip claps review I will give you an inside look and show how it works now and my opinion about whether you should use this as a method to earn or not. So before I log into the app, let's go over who can join and ClipClaps is an app you can download both for iOS devices and Android devices and you can join it from more or less all countries. But let's now then log into the app and then I can show you how it works, how you can earn and of course we'll talk about the value for your time so you can find out if you should even consider downloading it. So I have now logged into ClipClaps and it is fairly easy to get started with. There are also some confusing things as you will see when we go over the earning methods. But basically you just scroll and then you will earn. You see there's a bar down here below there and once it fills up uh, then you will earn basically just by scrolling through here watching these different videos there. And it, how fast it goes that depends it resets usually once a day or so. So at first you earn a lot faster and you can see right now it's getting there and then another three seconds, two, one and then you see then I earned it goes into the rewards down here and we'll talk about what you can do with these rewards and all this later but that's basically how you earn by watching videos and many of these uh, most of them are uploaded by other members you can also earn by uploading your own videos if people like them and engage with them and things like that you can earn more uh, but you see basically now i just earn while scrolling around here and watching these different videos and things like this so that's the main way and that's what it's known for letting you earn by doing but it also has other ways to earn and it has introduced more methods since i first tested it a few years ago so let's go over what else it offers now before we talk about the value for your time here so if you go to the reward section there are different ways to earn here you can see you can for example spin here you can uh, do some different offers you can do some raffle uh, different options like this and uh, you know if i just show you for example this one the spin so basically what i need to do is to just click it here and then I spin and you get some chances like this every day there and then I just have to wait and then we see and I won uh, 10 cents so this is one where you can earn quite well but you know you have to be lucky also you won't always earn and these mega spin you see this one the mega spin is only available once a week or so so you won't earn a lot like that then they also have the lucky spin there it's another spin and this one you see I you get one free lucky spin every five hours but you also earn significantly less there's not like any cash there's different points or coins and these uh, treasure chests there you can win also we'll go over what you can do with them later so i would need to spin there and uh, i can have four of them as you can see so when i have one less there then uh, it will just fill up in five hours there but that that's another way to earn and that can be worth considering if you're using the other ones here you know it doesn't give great value for your time in my opinion you also have down here you see there's some other daily tasks where you can get some bonuses if you for example watch videos there for for one minute and then you get a bonus and and different other clap coins you can do by inviting friends and things like that so there's quite a few different ways to earn now uh, and they have introduced more it can however become a little bit confusing and uh, i think that might be a part of the plan to be honest i will tell a little bit more about that next when we will talk about the payment methods you get and the payment methods it has and the rewards you can exchange in here so when you earn in here you earn sometimes treasure chests you saw that some of the spins can earn you that sometimes you also earn coins uh, and then you can get these treasure chests and if we just check you see uh, first up here you see there are coins you earn the coins can be used for different things you can for example buy these different chests, uh, treasure chests and then you can get different rewards for that uh, but you can also actually taken out as cash we'll go over that in just a second if you can get paid like that but the treasure chests here are a big part of it because you will get many of those and then i can open them so let's see for example 
this one, this gold one there, I can open. And, and the different colors give different types of rewards. I just click my screen and you see some of them have like different rewards. There's 16 coins, another 19 coins. There I get some raffle tickets. They have all these different kind of rewards. So it can be a little bit confusing. I have more of these treasure chests so I can open more, but I'll show you also like, for example, let's do uh, one of these ones here. <clears throat> You see that one has bigger rewards there, so I get quite a bit more. And there I got some more raffle tickets and some more clap coins. And this is then just an overview of what I got in this chest. And, and this is basically how it is. You then open them, but you can see you just get coins. So what can you do with those instead of just getting more treasure chests? Because then it kind of doesn't make sense. And what can you do with these raffle tickets? Let's start by going over the raffle tickets before going over these coins and how you can actually get paid in cash. So the raffle tickets you win from these different treasure chests, you can access them there. And then you can see I have different options like here, for example, this one where I can win $10. I have 17 out of 20 before I can participate. And you see all these other ones, but this one where I can win 10 cash, I actually have enough. So I click that to play it. And you see, I just need to uh, click there and, and uh, to play. And then we'll just wait and see. And I can then scratch one time. And what I scratch is then the reward I would get. So let's just try one here and uh, confirm it. I want this one. Yes, I do. And I won two cents. So, you know, I wasn't that lucky, but at least I got some cash. So that's fine. But then now I don't have any more of these. And you can see now it shows where the different ones. And even though I could potentially win $10, you see, there was not any of them here that gave $10. The most was 10 cents. So that's the most I could have won from this one. So that's something to consider. But you can get lucky to win from these. But it just takes a lot of patience and a lot of luck. But let's now also talk about these coins and how you can get paid in cash directly also from what you earn there. So if you click the coins you've collected and you can see how many I have, then you can see I have almost 40,000 and that's worth 40 cents. <laughs> and you can see that some of these treasure chests give very few coins. And, and it's kind of like a weird circle because then you would be tempted to get some of these treasure chests to get more coins or some of these raffle tickets and get lucky, but you can just end up going in circles and spending a lot of time uh, doing that without getting to the threshold to actually get paid in cash. And you can see the threshold by clicking this cash button because this is where you can get paid in cash. And when you first join, that's how it was for me. I could get paid 10 cents. That was the lowest payer threshold. That was very easy to read. I read that and I did get paid, but then it changed to $10. And actually I had a long time where I couldn't reach that because they said that they like ran out of the rewards. So I gave up on everything. But now you can see, I kind of am close it looks. I have like $7, but I'm not planning to actually try to reach this because when you look at the value for it, 10,000 coins is worth 10 cents. And it's just confusing system because you earn coins, but you don't know always how much you earn. And then you use the coins to get treasure chests and you will get some raffle tickets. And if you're lucky, you'll win something or you will win other coins that you will then just use for more treasure chests. And then you can get enough to get paid in cash. But the whole system, in my personal opinion, is so confusing because you do not realize how much time you spend because it's fun to open these treasure chests and feel your win. And it's fun to see, oh, I almost have enough raffle tickets now to maybe win $10, but you don't win. But then you see two cents. That's, you know, still you build up. It's like, it's a fun way, but it just seems in my opinion to be very confusing to keep you engaged. So you do not realize how much time you spend in relation to the value you get, because to ever get the $10 to get paid will take an extreme amount of time compared to other apps where you can earn by, for example, taking paid surveys and watching videos and more. So to sum it all up, clip claps can be a way to earn by watching videos and doing other small tasks. And it is one of the more popular ones because it can be fun, but it's also very distracting in my opinion. If you're looking for an effective way to earn, clip claps is not an effective way. In general, you will not earn a lot by watching videos, but I do have a list on my website about my top recommended sites to earn by watching videos. I'll leave that below. But in general, if you want to earn from your phone effectively, just use like get paid to sites if you're just looking for 
free ways. You can use many of them also. They have apps where you can do small tasks. It's way more effective. It's maybe not so engaging or fun as clip claps, but you get better value for your time. And that's personally what I'm looking for when I'm looking for ways to earn. I will also leave a link below to a list I have on my website about the best get paid to size. So you can check that out. But no matter what, I hope this gave you some good information about what ClipClap offers now and whether it's worth it or not. Then now you know the pros and the cons and then you can make your own decision. And if the video helped you, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time when there's a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.